Good morning everyone. Welcome to your science class. Today's our topic is structure of a flowering plant. Let's begin. There are varieties of flowering plants found around us like mustard, pea, sunflower, maize, tomato, marigold, mango. These are all flowering plants. The entire body of a flowering plant consists of two parts. They are root and the shoot. The part of the plant which grows under the ground, under the soil, it is called root. And the part which grows above the ground, that is the aerial part of the plant, is shoot. To study about the different parts of a flowering plant, let's take an example of a mustard plant. As you can see in the picture too, in a mustard plant, there are some parts which are above the ground, which, are, which is the aerial part. It is also called the suit system and some parts are under the ground. This is the root system. Now, today, let's start discussing about different parts of the plant. Among them, let's discuss about the root system. Root system or the root is the part of the plant body which grows under the soil. It is the non-green part of the plant. It is white or brown in color. The root of some plants grows deep into the soil. Roots can also be of two types. They are tap root and adventitious or fibrous root. Now, let's talk about Tap root. What type of root is called tap root? Normally, the root where there is main root called primary root, which gives branches called secondary roots. Secondary roots again gives branches called tertiary root. This kind of root system is called tap root system. Or we can say the collection of primary root, secondary root, and tertiary root is called tap root. Some examples are gram, pea, mustard, etc. This type of root, because there is presence of many branches in it, it can grow very deep inside the soil. It can reach very deep into the soil. This is an example of tap root system. Here, the main root primary is more in diameter. You can see it has more thickness as compared to secondary and tertiary root. Secondary roots arises from the primary roots and these secondary roots again in turn gives branches called tertiary root. Tertiary roots bear small small fine hair like structures. These are called root hair. This is about tap root. And the next one is adventitious root or fibrous root. The roots that the blobs from any part of the plant body except the seed is called adventitious root or fibrous root. This root grows shallow and spreads in a larger area. It is a cluster of roots of more or less equal length and diameter. Most of these roots are of similar thickness and similar length. It arises from the base of the stem. Such roots bear smaller lateral branches too. Such examples of these roots are maize, wheat, rice. These are its examples. Now let's have a comparative look of taproot and adventitious root. As you can see in the picture too, in taproot system, there is primary root which gives branches called secondary which again gives branches called tertiary roots and in fibrous root you can see all the roots emerges out from the same level, level and mostly are of similar thickness and length too. These are the types of roots. Now let's discuss about its functions. Roots generally perform four primary functions. First one and the main one is absorption. Roots absorbs water and minerals or nutrients from the soil. 
it is performed by root hairs. Roots, after absorption, they transport that water and minerals to the steam. Roots also anchor the plants to maintain stability. It gives support to the plant. And in some plants, root also stores food and water. Some examples of plants storing food in them and we, which we use as a edible part of the plant are carrot, garlic, onions, radish. These are the examples where the plant stores food in their root part. So today we discuss about the root system and in upcoming class, next class, we'll be discussing about the root system. Hope you understood well. Thank you.